By the patient handset, the backrest can be independently raised or lowered like this. The bed height can be raised or lowered using these functions. If a custom height position has been programmed, the bed will pause at this position. The thigh section can be independently raised or lowered like this. The bed can be placed in a full cardiac chair position by pressing and holding this button. To take the bed out of this position, use this button. To raise just the backrest, press this button. The backrest will pause at 30 degrees and 45 degrees before completing its full movement to 70 degrees. This pause ensures your patient is always positioned at the correct angle. The backrest will lengthen as it rises, significantly reducing shear and friction. To lower the backrest, press this button. It will pause at 45 degrees and 30 degrees on its way back to flat. To raise the height of the bed, press this button. To lower the height of the bed, press this button. When the button is pressed and held down, the bed will stop 3 cm before its lowest point of 21 cm. An alarm will sound as it lowers the final 3 cm. The brake and steer pedals will automatically engage when the bed reaches its lowest point if not already engaged. A custom height setting can be programmed for each patient, significantly enhancing safe mobilisation. Press and hold this button for 10 seconds until a beep is heard. This will indicate that the custom height has been set. The bed will now pause at this height when lowering and raising until the process is repeated for the next patient. The thigh section can be independently adjusted by pressing this button. To lower, press here. Make sure the manual calf section is in the flat position before lowering the thigh section. The MMO5000 can be placed in a full cardiac chair position using one button. Press and hold to achieve this position. This combines back and thigh adjustment with foot down tilt, also known as reverse Trendelenburg. To take the bed out of chair position, press this button. Press here to put the bed in foot down tilt, also known as reverse Trendelenburg. To put back to horizontal, Press this button. When the bed reaches the horizontal position, a one second pause happens. Keep holding this button to put the bed into head down tilt or Trendelenburg. This function should only be used by a caregiver. If cardiopulmonary resuscitation is required, press and hold this button. This will quickly return the bed back to a flat position and to an appropriate height for cardiac massage. The manual CPR levers are located at either side of the head end. To activate, pull the orange handle up until the backrest is flat. If there is a requirement to lock out a function to prevent its use, press the lock symbol on either side of the control panel together with the function to be locked. A light will indicate that the function is now locked. To unlock, repeat this action. The light will now go out. The bed can be extended in length by 18 centimetres. This operation should always be performed without a patient on the bed. Extend the bed platform by pulling out the orange knob located at the foot end, patient left, whilst pulling back on the footboard. 
The mattress platform can be extended by lifting off the panel and pulling the bottom of the frame towards the footboard. The panel can then be replaced, ensuring it is firmly clicked into place. The mattress should be moved down the bed and a foam filler section added at the head end. The brake pedal is at the foot of the bed. To engage the brake, push the pedal down. To release the brake, raise the pedal with your foot. From the ultra low position, the bed must be raised by at least 5 cm in order to manually release the brake and move the bed. For safety reasons, ensure the brake is applied at all times when the bed is stationary. The steer pedal is at the head end. This should be engaged, i.e. in the down position at all times when the bed is stationary or being manoeuvred as it will allow controlled movement without effort, significantly reducing the force required to move the bed. Only disengage the steer pedal by pushing up with your foot if you require lateral or sideways movement of the bed. Re-engage the steer pedal by pressing down on the pedal when travelling straight in a corridor or when leaving the bed unattended. To replace the bed into a bed space, make sure steer is engaged first. Push the bed straight into place and engage the brake again. The bed is fitted with folding side rails. To lower, face towards the foot end of the bed. Place the hand nearest the side rail on the top rail and the other hand on the handle of the second rail. Gently pull the handle in the direction of the orange arrow. As soon as the handle moves, use your other hand to start to lower the side rail and let go of the handle. To raise, Grab the top bar and pull it up and towards the head end of the bed. There will be a click when it is locked into position. The MMO 5000 Plus is fitted with split side rails. The side rail can be released by squeezing the grey handle. The side rail will then lower with a dampened action. To raise, Simply lift until the side rail locks into position with an audible click. 